pot. Perfect control of the cue ball. It's a funny thing, you know, for all these ones, Stephen Willie went back to the players area after the mid session. He was going there with Stephen on the table practicing. Yeah, I think we, we mentioned in commentary that he was missing a few long ones and perhaps thought his timing wasn't quite right. You see, the thing is with timing when you're brake building, people out there would not realise that you can actually, um, you know, still score very heavily when you're, when you're not queuing well, but when you just find yourself out is really when you're playing the long game. Yes, he's got so much pride in performance, Stephen. That little ten minute interval, practicing away, trying to get things right.
to make one. You can always give it to me, will he? 65. He really is a machine, isn't he? He's already made six 147s in tournament play. And this is the beauty of going for 147s. You see, at this situation now, you can't afford really just to play for one red. Because once you get the wrong angle, it's break over. So consequently, Stephen has played for two or three reds at the same time there to always give yourself options. And this is the only reason that Stephen Hendry is so proficient in the 147 department. Again here, he won't play for one red, he'll play for two reds. But making sure he finishes high. themselves. They're wondering whether this 147 is going to be made at this visit. See there again you see he's played for the red on the middle blue spot. If he's not on it, he's on one of the other reds. This is a real chance. together and even Stephen Henry will be feeling it a little bit now. Thank you. 